Welcome back to Fort Wayne's Smallest Winner. We want to thank the Centers for Pain Relief, our sponsor for this segment, and let's get to Fort Wayne's Smallest Winner. He is the winner. You are a big winner. Now, all the contestants uh, won in some capacity because they all lost weight. Jimmy Lane, you lost 82 pounds. I did. That's amazing. Yeah. Talk about the biggest difference this has made in your life. Biggest difference is the physical aspect. Um, I'm more capable of doing things that I couldn't do before. Uh, a lot more energy, you know, not fatigued in the evenings when it's time to get home, spend time with my kid. Um, it's just a total different lifestyle now. 82 pounds. How long had you been overweight, Jimmy? Ever since middle school. Ever since middle school. So that's, that's a whole lot of baggage. It is. I, uh, last time I seen 220 anything on the scale. I think I was probably 10, 15 years old. And you mentioned your family. They must have just been bowled over by your success and uh, how you look now. They are. They're, they're shocked that it's possible to lose 82 pounds in 15 weeks. It's just remarkable. It's amazing and it's so motivating to anyone out there who wants to lose weight. What motivated you to uh, join up for this uh, public weight loss? Because it's kind of hard to lose weight in the public eye. I got tired of hiding behind clothes, um, wearing clothes that are way too big for me, that it didn't really do any justice. Um, it was there, it was just covered up. Um, it was just time to get healthy, live a lifestyle that I could be proud of. It is a lifestyle, you've lost your weight. What's gonna help you keep the weight off? That's the huge issue. It, <clears throat> it's become a lifestyle now to where I'm, I'm used to going to the gym in the morning. Um, I've been taught by our nutritionist, um, all the people that helped us through this competition, uh, Rick and Tina, you know, how to eat right. And it's good food. It's not greasy. It's healthy food and it's flavorful. You didn't go hungry? Never, never. I, sometimes I felt like I was overeating, but it was just it's fruits, vegetables, and your protein. Now, what was the hardest part of this journey of weight loss? Pre-planning. Mm -hmm. um, just, just trying to, the night before or on a Sunday, plan your meals for the whole week. Uh, that would be the hardest part for me through this whole competition. And there are so many people that want to lose weight. What would you be able to say to these people trying to lose weight? Get up. Don't be afraid. There's people out there to help you. You're not the only one. Um, you're the you're same as everybody else underneath your clothes. Uh, it's just some people have a little more baggage than others. Don't be afraid to do it. Just get out there and give it 150% and it's possible. And you were speaking about off air. Uh, you worked out today. It's just a part of your life now. Absolutely. It's become a regimen. You, you get used to doing something. It's like, you know, you, you don't forget to wake up in the morning. You don't forget to go to the gym. It's, it's my lifestyle now and it won't change. Rick, this is your third year. What's the greatest reward in helping these people? Seeing their happy faces, um, it, their success, and now that we've did this three years, there are success stories from season one and two that have continued, which reassures to me that this it wasn't in vain. It wasn't a get in shape for the finale of a contest and forget about it. Uh, our season one, season two winner uh, still look incredible. And then uh, Buck Jordan, which finished, didn't win, but uh, finished at 80 some pounds. He's continued another year and he's at 160 pounds now. So um, those, th that makes it all worthwhile. And, and my wife and I get more out of this program than they do. What motivated you to start Fort Wayne's Smallest Winner? Watching The Biggest Loser. Um, that I've always had the passion for health and fitness, but seeing Jillian and Bob and how they changed people's lives and attitudes, I just I looked at Tina and I, I said, you know, I want to do that. I, I want to change people, and she said, do it. And here we are, three seasons later, and it's it's grown grown more than I ever could have dreamed. It was started a little puppy dog, and now it's a big monster. So we, we're very very happy. But it is exciting because you have had the contestants from the first and second year. You followed them, and they have kept the weight off. We call them the alumni now, and, and they wear gray shirts to the current season workouts. They're always invited back. They wear gray shirts, so we know who they are. And many, many of them have continued uh, their journey, and, and we're in touch with them, email and phone. Uh, some of them go to other exercise facilities now. But, I mean, we really are changing people's lives forever. and. 
and that makes us makes it all worthwhile. Jimmy, what's been the reaction from your your coworkers? I mean, it's like you're a new man. It's a motivation for them. Um, we've all tried it during regular work hours to lose weight. Um, now they're really getting into it in uh, different aspects. They work out now. It's it's a uh, it's a motivation to where it makes me feel good to see that me losing weight has motivated them. Um, they're into it just as much as I am now. Well, congratulations. You look great. I asked Jim this question. I'm going to ask you, too. New clothes. That must be fun. It is. It's, it's really a good experience to go out and to have to buy new clothes that you don't have to go to the big and tall section anymore. You know, I don't have to wear clothes that say Big Daddy on them. <laughs> um, it's, it really feels good. Well, congratulations, Jimmy. Jimmy Lane, Fort Wayne's smallest winner. Uh, thanks to Rick for all your effort, and thanks to Jimmy, the big winner in Fort Wayne's smallest winner. If you'd like more information, uh, we've got the website here, fortwaynesmallestwinner.com. I'm Leslie Stone. Thanks so much for joining me on Fort Wayne's Smallest Winner. <laughs>